In today's video guys, I'm about to show you how you can fix stutter in Fortnite OG. But I'm not only going to show you how you can fix your stutter, but I'm also going to show you how to boost your FPS and keep them as high as possible. So therefore, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And so guys, for the first method, if you have stutter in Fortnite and you want to fix this or FPS drops in general, open up your Windows search bar and type in this CMD, right click onto it and run it as administrator. Then we're going to use a super simple command, which is going to be SFC space scan now. With a slash in front of it guys, click under enter. This is basically like a quick checkup for your whole entire Windows if there are any missing or corrupted data and make sure to fix them as well for you so you don't have to do anything yourself. It's only gonna take a few seconds really depending on your system specs. And then you can see guys, Windows Resource Pack Protection did not find any integrity violation so therefore our PC is good to go. Next up, what you wanna do is go again into your Windows search bar and type in that temporary until you can see delete temporary files. Open it up again guys and then we can see our main local disk C. This is the one which we want to focus on and in here now we have temporary files. We're going to click onto it and you can see for me it's already 22 gigs which is actually crazy even more than that. And what we actually want to focus on guys are delivery optimization files, temporary files and DirectX shader cache. Especially these ones here, the DirectX shader cache can so often cause stutter especially if you have a brand new game on your PC or a huge update like Fortnite OG season. You can see cleanup files created by the graphics system which can speed up application load time and improve responsiveness. So therefore these files are actually there so that you can load faster into the Fortnite map or switch between game mode or faster switch into applications but sometimes these files are actually corrupted or they get created in a wrong way which can happen whenever they get created when you maybe launch into Fortnite OG so therefore cleaning this up once in a while if there may be some previous ones from like the previous season of Fortnite this can actually fix stutter for you so therefore make sure that all of these here are checked and click under remove files real quick and it's gonna take only a few seconds again you're gonna wait and what I want to do in the next step guys is open up your file explorer and in here you're going to find your local disk C we're going to open it up go into program files and then search for E until we can find Epic Games, Fortnite, and then we have Fortnite game. Then we're gonna go into binaries, and then we have Windows 64. And once we're in here now, guys, we wanna search up Easy Anti Cheat Camo. Open up this folder, and then we see the X already. This is the official anti cheat service of Fortnite, and sometimes this one here might be maybe bugged or whatever, or we have interrupted files, so therefore we can actually repair the service. It says now here current game 217 which is actually the code for Fortnite and we're going to click under repair service. Then you can see it's uninstalling and installing again and we're already good to go. Then we can close it and now we can head here down guys until we can see the actual Fortnite exe which is Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping exe. We want to right click onto it, go into properties and then we can see compatibility. And what you want to make sure 100% to do if your Fortnite is maybe sometimes bugging is to disable full screen optimization. Then additionally to that you can also try out to run this program as an administrator. Then we're gonna go and apply, click under OK and now try to launch your Fortnite and see if the stutter is still there. And if you guys ever wondered how I get solo ping in Fortnite, it's actually because of the GR Booster. You can try this out for absolutely free with the link in the description. It's also the tool which Marrow, the FNCS winner is using. And the GR Booster is basically improving your ping by finding the best DNS server in your near. So therefore, just simply launch it, select Fortnite, and you can see guys, we already have improvement of 138%. The ping is insanely low, like even for rank 10 milliseconds is super low guys, which means in creative, I would get probably zero ping right now. And you can even see the connection between your PC and your router and your router and the actual game server and what's the best about it guys is adaptive intelligent routing this means that it's actively in the background always going to look for the best DNS server making sure that you have the least amount of ping so therefore check it out with the link in the description guys it's amazing sometimes guys stutter might also be because you have the wrong power plan or maybe the wrong CPU settings which can somehow actually give you super bad performance in Fortnite so what we're going to utilize is the process lesser you can find the tool on my official website or on my discord you guys can pick from whatever you want to get it and you can see we have basically all of the options of our CPU in here. What we want to do in the first place is click on the main and make sure that our active power profile is actually the Bitsim highest performance one. This one is the best for any gaming PC. And then you can see guys that it's actually selected here. This is super important. And what we want to do in the next step is go into options and then we can see general. And then in here we have our refresh internal GUI. This one you actually want to put to five seconds guys. This is the best setting. And the same as well with the refresh internal governor setting. This one you want to put to five seconds as well. And now we can actually close the tool guys. Go into a window search bar, type in there actually power plan until we can see edit power plan. Then you can see the Bitsim highest performance one is actually selected. And if you click under change advanced power settings and go here now into our CPU settings, which should be here, processor power management. 
it should say for a minimum processor state 100% and the same as well for a maximum processor state. And this is super important so that we have no park cores and always can utilize the best performance out of our CPU. And next up guys, where you could also by the way have stutter is if you go into your Fortnite settings, first of all, make sure that you have the right game rendering mode. If you're on Nvidia or Intel, you gotta use the performance mode. If you're on AMD on the other hand, you have to use DirectX 12. The game is gonna maybe need one or two games to load, but then it's gonna run so smooth. Then you can also make sure that you copy all of my settings, basically everything on the lowest. And if you of course really struggle with FPS drops, try to put your 3D resolution to 70%, which is still gonna look amazing in my opinion, but it still gives you a nice FPS boost. And then next up, super important under audio guys, that you put your sound quality to low, not high. It even says directly in Fortnite that if you put it on high, this will cause stutter.